Hello guys and welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today I'm going to be attacking with Grenadiers and Cryo Bombardiers. I did a video a few days ago on just using Cryo Bombardiers. Otherwise, Chris and I have not been using them in our videos since then. But we are going to be hitting uh, some bases today. Now I did test out this strategy. Um, one attack. I'm bringing Private Bullet Energy Drink by the way. Because I do need a tank out in front because we don't want our grenadiers taking the fire otherwise uh the, the they'll disappear pretty quickly and we're kind of using them as mine clear and then a little bit of a barrier between the cryo bombardiers but for this one um you know I'm, I'm liking it a lot as you guys can tell he's got a good amount of loot and I do almost have a hundred percent resource reward currently because of the tribe But without further ado, let's hop into this first attack So I think I'm gonna drop on the left hand side We're gonna drop bullet down let him run up a bit and then throw our troops the rest of our troops into the corner And now that we have all of our troops down We're gonna start throwing some artillery on the base try and take out some of the defenses I am a little bit scared of and then we are going to pop into energy drink right away just because bullet was getting a little bit low health. Looks like that shock blaster is still standing. We want to take him out and we're going to go barrage to artillery. Hopefully that can take out the shock blaster. Looks like it did so good job to that. And now we are looking, you know, a rocket launcher just completely uh, missed private bullet and hit the entirety of my troops and we are looking a little bit in lo low health right now but I don't think it'll be too big of a deal because um, we don't have that many more defenses that are guarding the HQ I would say so we're gonna throw a shock bomb just because the rocket launcher is getting a bit annoying and we'll give a couple seconds for our uh, our, our five medics to try and heal up my army just a little bit so we can finish off this base. Looks like the cryo bombardiers were doing a good job slowing down that rock launcher, doing a good amount of damage. And now we are just losing a couple troops here and there as we do finish up this base. So attack number one was a decent success. Throw a couple artillery, help out the HQ effort, and it looks like our damage is not there. Probably should have done a redirect flare, but honestly, we did lose a good amount of troops this battle i wasn't expecting that 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 first attack i tried i didn't lose any troops which was uh pretty surprising to me but here we go we're gonna throw two boxes of critters um I, i'm gonna rely on my grenadiers a lot of the time to take out some mines but i don't think they would have been able i don't think their accuracy was that bad that they would take out the mines with their uh with their bombs or with their uh grenades that they throw i don't even know what you want to call them but uh it, looks like we're just hopping into this uh they're they're gonna run over that minefield i have a feeling of that and i'm not really gonna stop them because you know sometimes sometimes you just gotta let your troops have a little bit of fun and by fun that means taking out a minefield am i right but uh going into this we're gonna throw a shock onto the shock launcher just so bullet doesn't get shocked too much because we need him out in front so the rocket launchers do not fully just fire on bullet and my back line that would be uh very uh not 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 very good for the attack but we're gonna throw a couple more artillery take out some clusters of buildings and uh hopefully just cruise through this base because there's no ice statue so it shouldn't be that difficult we have lost a cryo a bombardier and a grenadier unfortunately but we still do have our tank and there's not many defenses left just a couple more to get through before we do attack on that HQ and we have like a hundred GBE so we're gonna throw some critters out I know grenadiers take out critters but it's kind of just a distractor as they do finish off the final defenses and it looks like the only thing we have to take out now is the HQ so that's pretty nice pretty easy attack I'd say uh, so far strategy it's a little bit slow but uh, I it's pretty good I'd say I, I don't know how good this would be against like a mega boosted ice base but um, so far not too bad although I I do kind of prefer uh, regular bombardiers over the cryo bombardiers just because of the damage output that bombardiers regular bombardiers do but the utility of having the slowed defenses is nice but we're gonna throw down bullets let uh, him kind of walk up to the boom cannon and such 
and uh, that that first line of defenses, and then we will throw down the rest of our troops. Now this guy does have a shield generator. I kind of wish I threw down on the right hand side now, but that's something I didn't really notice or plan for, I should say. But uh, we're gonna throw two artillery onto the shock launcher, hopefully taking it out. This boosted artillery damage is very nice, even though sometimes I feel like. A lot of the building clusters should get taken out in two artillery, but you have to invest three in some of them because they're just mega boosted. But uh, yeah, looks like Bullet was getting a little bit low there. We're going to give him a little bit of an energy drink. That hyped him up for the time being and did regen a good amount of health. We're going to have to do it again. Two boom cannons and a shock launcher firing near, you know, that that's never a good combo. Bullet, Bullet can take the heat, but uh, I don't know if he can take that kind of heat for that long but it looks like um you know kind of just going through this base and uh not much more defenses that can really take me out here and we did get a good amount of troops kind of on the right hand side they started shading it early and uh now we can hope our troops do take out that shield generator throw a couple boxes of critters hopefully help help out the effort of taking out the shield generator and pop there it goes and now it's just a free hq being ready to just get demolished here so you know um well well the cryo bombardiers are here uh let me know down below on a strategy you do want to see with it because i wasn't really sure if uh what what i wanted to do i was kind of thinking like scorchers or something but then i was like you know their damage isn't uh that high or like heavy zooka with this or rifleman zooka and cryo bombardiers but i was like you know since cryo bombardiers are, are, are pretty ranged i'd say you know one of the uh biggest ranges in the game um I'll, I'll throw another ranged unit back there with them and hopefully they can just snipe bases from afar and it shouldn't be too big of a deal but uh yeah I, it's going pretty well so far i don't even have gbe boosted um so that's pretty nice, but we're gonna throw a couple artillery onto the base. Kind of a weak one when it comes to the to the health side, and there is a boom mine there. I don't want our troops hidden, so we threw a box of critters for precautionary measures, and it looks like we did save one or two of our grenadiers lives and i will take that over the box of critters any day of the week and now this base is super weak level 64 no ice so uh this base should be no problem you know um after we do take out a couple more of these defenses i will just flare into the hq so we can move on to the next one try and get some more loot for this video but uh pop an energy drink throw a flare and that should get bullets and our troops attached to that HQ, and we should be able to take it out here in a couple seconds. There we go, throwing a few artillery. Threw it a little bit late, but it did help out. The, you know, the first two did knock it down a little bit, but then I think the HQ was taken out. So, so far, this strategy hasn't even been close to failure, and it looks like we have our first attack with no casualties today. So let's move on from that. Let's hit another one or two bases and uh, wrap this up, this strategy up. Got enough of it, right? Um just can honestly i'm i'm having i'm having fun with it you know it's kind of nice just chilling letting your troops do their thing you know they're not really in the defense's face so you don't have to worry about too much you have to worry about the rocket launchers and all them but like i mean rocket launchers i i, I would say i'm more scared of the shock launchers in this situation but we're gonna throw a shock bomb you know that shock launcher was just hidden bullet one too many times and we want him to be a free man looks like the one over here is uh doing the same thing so we're gonna throw a couple artillery that should take it out and it looks like we have some good pathing for this base but one thing i don't want to ignore is that shock blaster in the back just because bullet um you know he, he he can be a sensitive guy sometimes and one of his weaknesses would be the shock blaster just because of the consistent damage and the shock ability you know he can't do anything against him looks like we do have a boom surprise did not want the critter smoke for a second so decided to take a shot at uh one of my medics or one of my cryo bombardiers because we have lost a couple but we're going to be able to take out this base here in a few seconds and boom there goes pus and we're gonna move on to one final attack for today so uh i would say this attack strategy is pretty successful currently i thought i was gonna fail one today you know it was when i woke up i was like this feels like a day that i have a bad fail on a boom beach attack and it hasn't happened yet and uh i'm i'm hoping it doesn't happen this final battle and 
by saying that we are going to avoid that base. It had two grapplers. Bullet would have been taken for a ride, but this base doesn't look too intimidating. I don't see any ice statues and uh, a couple prototypes, but I'm going to be able to deal with them pretty easily here. We're going to throw down our troops, and then we're going to throw a shock bomb that's going to disable half of the base's defenses right there. That's always nice when you throw one shock bomb and all of a sudden a base is almost useless. But we're going to throw another one. Should take out uh, half as many defenses or half the base again. I, I said that wrong, but uh, you know, chilling with 72 energy here, not uh, not low on that front, but we are gonna throw a box of critters because our troops are wandering into some mine territory that uh, that the grenadiers, you know, they they kind of avoided throwing throwing some of their damage over there to take out the mines, but it looks like we got a good path. We're gonna do a reflare over here, and this base. Is going to be tow soon 100 gbe remaining we have lost a cryo bombardier unfortunately along with a couple grenadiers but uh this strategy we're just going to spam artillery onto it that should take it out by itself there we go boom 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 bonnie parker you are taken out uh don't take it personally my cryo bombardier grenadier medic and private bullet strategy that is a mouthful um, was a success so there were there was no stopping it. I'm sorry to say but uh, let's go back to base can we get a small upgrade it looks like we can um, we're gonna upgrade the level 18 flamethrower to level 19 and we already have a sniper tower upgrading too we are gonna hit level 68 sooner or later I'm excited for that I know Christian had it a while ago but I was a little bit slow on the upgrade upgrades here but uh yeah that's okay but that's gonna be it for today if you did enjoy this strategy make sure you guys do drop a like but again if you do have a cryo bombardier attack strategy suggestion feel free leave it down below but we'll see you in tomorrow's boom beach video bye bye <laughs>